I recommend that you talk a lot with your colleagues and you talk a lot with your supervisor because it's by talking that you can make sense of whether it's sensible or not. Um, so that's the first thing. Uh, talk about it. Don't keep it to yourself. Talk about it. The, the second thing is it's probably important to recognise that you can have many, many more good ideas than you can possibly pursue. I sometimes say to my students, ideas are cheap. Ideas are cheap. What is difficult is to get the evidence and data to support an idea. You look at the history of science. You know the atomic, the idea that matter is atomic was proposed by Democritus 2,000 years ago. But the first evidence for it was only 200 years ago. And with science, you need evidence as well as good ideas. So they go together. You need good ideas and evidence. So thinking about that with your good ideas, there's another phrase I use. I hope it will make sense. That science is called by some people. Science is the art of the soluble. What that means is it's the art of doing something that you can solve. And just having a great idea, if you can't approach it with evidence and data and observations, then it's no good to you. So a very good test, which you should apply when you speak to your colleagues, is can I produce data and evidence in a satisfactory way to test this idea? Because even the greatest idea is worth nothing without the data.